The front princess seam is very important to have a nice and beautiful curve on the front of the bustier. I'll show you how to do it. Hi, I'm Jean. Welcome to Pattern Studio 101. This channel is all about pattern making. If you love my videos, why don't you join my email list? Once a week, I send extra pattern making lessons right into your inbox. You can join my email list on my website, patternstudio101.com. Today, we're going to make bustier patterns. These are all different designs of bustiers. As you can see, some have shorter straps and some don't. Some have seams right under the boobs and some have only vertical seams. We'll have a chance to make all these designs in the future. But for today, let's make this a simple and basic one. You can really see the seams, but we're going to have seams like side seams, princess seams right on top of the apex, and the center back seam. Depending on the fabric you choose, the ease will vary. For this kind of garment, the fitting process is crucial. You cannot skip the fitting to make the garment greatly fit. I'm not going to add any ease to today's lesson and will draft from scratch. You will need bust circumference, waist circumference, back length, Apex length, you measure this from the high shoulder point to the apex. And bust span, the distance between the apex. Draw a rectangular. Horizontal is half of the bust circumference. Vertical is the back length. Find a midpoint. You can draw a side seam here. Then the front chest and back chest will be the same. But if your cup size is bigger than C, you might want to make the front bigger. I'm going to move one quarter of an inch to the back. So my front will be half of an inch bigger than the back. Draw a side seam. So this will be the back and this is the front. Draw the underarm line. From the center back neck point to the underarm line, we call this armor depth. If you know your armor depth, it's easy. Measure down and draw a line. If you have no idea where to start, go to my website patternstudio101.com and download armor depth chart. I made it for you. You will get some ideas from it. My examples for today is seven inches and a half. Let's find the apex. From the center front, half of the bust span. Draw a guideline. Measure the bust circumference divided by 12. This is the front high shoulder point. From there, measure down the apex length to this guideline. You have a measurement, right? Then this is the apex. Draw a bust line. Okay, we need waist dart. So let's calculate how much it should be. Half of the bust circumference minus half of the waist circumference. Then we know how much we have to take out on the waist. We're going to take out some at the side seams, some at the back, and some at the front. The portion will vary depending on the cup size. The bigger the cup size, the bigger dart on the front. Here's an example. Bust circumference is 36 inches, waist is 27 inches, and these are the half measurement. And the difference between them is four inches and a half. I'm going to take out one inch at the back, three quarters of an inch on each side of the side seam, and two inches at the front. Let's draw a side seam first. Measure three quarters of an inch on each side. 
and draw new side seam. For the back dart, find a midpoint and draw a line to the bust line. We're going to end the dart here. And the dart width is one inch, right? So half of an inch on each side. Draw a dart. For the front dart, mark one inch down from the apex and mark one inch on each side at the waist. Draw a dart. We're going to draw this front dart in a moment, but before that, let's draw the outline for the design. I want to go like this for the front. I don't have a photo of the back, but let's say I want a back like this. If we want to have a button closer on the center back, you might want to have an extension, but I'm gonna leave it. We can have a zipper here. Okay, front. The front princess seam is a very important part of the bustier. You want to have a nice and beautiful curve on the front. To have a curve like this, these dart legs should be straight. So draw a princess seam as the curve you want to have. I overlapped a little bit at the apex area to make the curve beautiful and because of this gap, we have this. For the last step, you want to draw the lines. Close all the seams and redraw the top curve and the waistline. If you're a pattern maker, join my Facebook group, Pattern Making Professionals. I post some pattern making tutorials there as well. The link is in the description box. This channel is totally dedicated for young professionals to take their pattern making skills to the next level. Have an amazing week. See you next time.